What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be looking at some Breath of the Wild 2 and some early Breath of the Wild 1 early concept crud because you know it's pretty interesting and pretty cool and maybe they are gonna use it for the next game. So let's just get right into the new. All right, we got the first website here. It's got a bunch of stuff and it's got a bunch of early development things here. So first one we got here is the Guardians. You know, this one actually looks pretty cool. All right, we got the Guardians here. It seems to be like a little walking boy, kind of like that one from Wind Waker, like the uh, the Phantom Guard things, you know, like the one in Smash where it's like, hey ya and it mercs you. All right, now we have something that kind of looks pretty spooky. I'm gonna keep scrolling because that's pretty sus, but also just like, probably like the very beginning ones and then they're like all right let's make it not so so freaking creepy so that um it's rated to r because that was kind of sus all right next one we got the divine beast here now one of these should look kind of similar if you're if you actually play breath of the wild a little bit which is this one down here is only like I think it was the is it not hatano i think it was the hatano tech lab um, it actually says, it doesn't say it down here somewhere. Turns out game developers actually left in references to the game with the tech lab having models of unused divine beasts hanging from the ceiling. Which is true, I'll throw you a hot picture on right there, but we kind of see like where some of these might come from. You know, like we got the, this one's actually pretty good, I mean it's got a giant crane on it, but you know it's like the lightning boy from in the desert. I forget the names, I haven't played in a little bit. Then we got, this one's like a crab though, instead of a giant lizard on the, uh, Hot Corona Mountain. I know it's not Corona Mountain, but I just like calling it that. And then I don't know what these are. I have no idea. Uh, probably just something else, especially. But then this is kind of looks like a stingray, which I believe that was actually the one in the like that one was what people thought, the, and the one in the tech lab was was that one. Like people said it looked like a stingray, which I think it actually kind of did, but obviously it probably didn't look like this. But these got some pretty hot designs here. One for Harrow Castle, looking like the the castle town. Um, from Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, and pretty spicy and pretty large. I guess we have the castle back here, you know, some of that Gerudo Highland action and just the houses that got completely murked. And then here's like the, you know, the inside looking pretty spice. And then, now we have the horse god, which I hope you, if you played the game, remember the one, so that one fairy, fairy in the fairy fountain that you can, if your horse dies, you can go to it and it'll completely resurrect that horse and BAM! You got your chocolate ch chocolate boy. I don't know. I'm just making a horse name, but you you get, got your get your horse back. Not really too much there, so we're just gonna skip that. Now we got Robbie the Hot, the Peak Scientist guy, not the one. We just one is the Akala Tech Lab. It's like all the way northwest, past Corona Mountain, not Corona Mountain. Guys, we got some different you know hairstyles, hairdos, and they're, they're looking pretty good. I mean, we have the glasses on here too. Not too bad. Now I guess we just got Shiga in general here on this one. Now the, the only time I think we saw him was like on that one cutscene when they like like oh take link back to china resurrection you, you know what i'm talking about and then that that's like the only scene other than like link actually wearing the armor but other than that i don't really think you see them that often but some peak fan art here and i guess we just got some other gamers here too whiz robe this is pretty good and this actually is pretty cute god damn it learn to talk but it's like this is probably what they look like underneath which isn't which is kind of probably pretty accurate because then we got the rope here you know it's like a whiz the rope pretty good and they got the staffs too you, you gotta get that nice all right next we got the tech lab here which is you know it's just got the guardian with the smiley face like hey man what are you doing over here i'm not trying to kill you right now because i'm a guardian this actually looks pretty cool you know got a bunch of guardian parts a little dismembered from you know just the years so this is a pretty good one that's pretty all right now we got a goron city one which just has I mean, those rails up top here look like the ones that you like get on the minecart and zoom with, but uh, it only looks like one rail, so I'm not really sure how you're gonna zoom on one rail. But then, you know, we got the giant mountains and the bridge across the lava, pretty spicy. And now we got Rito Village, it's actually pretty similar. I think there's a giant windmill there. I don't know if it's on the same island or not, but it's pretty much the same thing. You know, you got the giant towers in the middle of nowhere. It's it's pretty good, and then like little houses on the edge. This is not bad. Then here's another Rito Village one with it even Wumbo windmill. This one actually would be pretty cool. You know, it's got some palm trees and all that. So I'm hoping in the second game, they don't use the, they don't reuse the, you know, the same map that we have now because if they do, then it's like, dude, I already explored this like a bunch of times. Come on, give me some new content, Nintendo. Don't pee me over here. All right, now we got some sand seals here. Looking pretty merchandisable, if you know what I'm talking about, plush nation. Um, but they have different colored sand seals, which would have been pretty interesting. But I mean, like, come on, man, it's a saint. See, like, it just sits around all day. It's kind of a cool boy. Uh, we got polka dots. I mean, like, I like polka dots. Some images for the fairy fountain, which is pretty good. You know, you got a bunch of stuff around the outside, some water, 
for the fountain and the fairy to come out of. I don't even know how that works. Like, is it just like a giant water spout? You know, like, it's just like a giant thing of water that the fairy comes. I don't, but this one would be pretty cool. Like, all golden. This might be, I mean, like, it's like more like organic um, in the actual game. So, it's kind of different. Princess Zelda. Okay, we got some different clothing options. A little bit more a Link as an adventurous like. And then we got the different colors. Not too bad. I don't really care about that. If I'm being completely honest with you. Well, I care. Okay, man. I don't really care. Alright, so the next thing it says History of High Realm. Not exactly sure, but it says full explanation of the background for the Calamity. So, but it also says like how they got to it. So, like, I guess. I remember there was this one cutscene that they were all like, ah, oh, shoot, fam. And they're like, we should probably get the fuck out of here and did it, did it, did it. Alright, so next we got some pictures done by. It was said it was done by Nintendo, um, at, I don't even know actually where it was, but apparently it was just Nintendo, and it was like, hey guys, we got, we got all these ideas that we had when we were doing our things, so then, there's people there, actually, was it at E3? I don't know, man, but they were just talking about stuff, so the first one we got, like, you know, just a bunch of different Link models, not too much stuff. Next one we got, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be like an animal, or Zelda's, like, horse or something, but... Or maybe uh, I don't I don't know actually I don't actually know what this is supposed to be but it's kind of spicy and they threw some stuff I I mean I played the game so I don't really know what they're trying to make this so we're just gonna move on to our next hot pick we got like some of a it looks like a shrine it's probably a shrine maybe a divine beast but I mean I don't know it looks like a shrine I um, mean it's a little a little less aged to it it's like I like everything's like golden and it's crud Real shiny. Uh, next one, we got some more Link models with the Hylian tunic. Uh, looking a little bit younger, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't really see. I, I don't really like this model that much. I mean, obviously, it's just like. It's just an early on thing, but you know. You catch my drift. Alright, next one looks like. I don't know where the crud this is, but it looks like maybe we're near Rito Village or something where, where that like ravine is, and we got one of the. And it doesn't look like it's a. Like a, like a, a land feature, so I'm thinking it's like a dragon, but they're like, hey, let's make it wumbo size and not give it many textures yet. That's what I think they did, but it looks pretty cool. Alright, boom, next one looks like we got Von Meadow here, and we just got Link chilling on the side of this thing. And he's just like, oh, frick, dude, I don't want to fall off. He's literally on the edge, like, Link, can you just take it easy, bruv? We've got some more of that Sheik tech there, I don't really see too much of anything. Could this be the floating island people are talking about for the next Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> Maybe. I think it, it might actually. The, the Breath of the Wild 2 predictions on the floating island stuff is, is pretty hot, so it, it, I mean, it could be a thing. Damn, next one we got here. Actually, I don't know what this is. Um, especially with all like the Japanese text at the bottom of each one. I don't know if it's like a guardian or like a guardian statue or some kind of statue or I mean, it kind of looks like Vaughn Meadow on this top left picture thing, but then it looks like a koala on the bottom left. I don't know, dude. Next picture, gosh dang it. Okay, this one we actually have shrines. We got three different colors. Looks like we got like, you know, the malice going into one. I, th I think it's shrines. It looks like the door and then the thing. I mean, come on. I mean, no, that's a shrine. And then we got the blue, like after you do it. And I guess, I mean, they're always like orangish yellow before. They're like orange before you do it. So I don't know. It kind of looks like the yellow one, but... They don't, I don't think they were ever, like, pink. I know they're blue after you finish them, but I don't think they were, like, pink-red, you know? Alright, next one we got maybe some, I mean, obviously we got some, like, writing here, but I'm not really sure where this is. Maybe a shrine, I'm thinking it's probably a shrine. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, we got, I mean, obviously we got a link here, very crud drawings, but it, it's something. Next one we got maybe another shrine, I mean, it's like that, got that golden texture crud again it's kind of in the middle of nowhere where i feel like a shrine would probably be um i don't think it's a tower because you know it's not like that tall so we're just gonna assume it's that i don't know why it's so big though i mean it uh, maybe they thought shrines were gonna be larger and above ground that's possible all right this one we got uh is, i don't know is it an entrance to like goron city or like i don't actually know what this is i know there's that one mission where you had to like go in the cave and save that one dude because he was like freaking out and crud but i don't i don't think that's what this is it's possible so we got another shrine i think it looks like there's a door in the front and also maybe from the side and it kind of reminds me of those cannons you shoot like your your remote bombs out of but i think it's probably a shrine model next one we got looks like maybe it's 
I don't know, we got like a bird ting there, but then maybe that's like the old man's village or something. Not sure what this is, but then we got a link in the corner there. All right, we got some more link concept art. This is looking like, you know, the link we got today. Here we got another kind of shrine, but could it be like the uh, the heart of the divine beast where you gotta go touch your cheek slightly and it's like, oh, frick, dude, you can't do that because I'm here now. Um, so that's a, that, that's a maybe, that is a possible maybe. But it could be another temple. This could be a hot Breath of the Wild 2 thing. Cause it cause I think what's I don't know I don't know who it was, but they're like, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Cause they were gonna make more DLC, but they're like, nah, dude, let's just make a second game. Which isn't too bad, but I mean like I know they probably had like I feel like if they made a bunch of DLC, people would have been like, yo, dude, just fucking make another game. Like, come on, bruv. Cause I mean obviously they could have made more money if they just did 20 things. I'm ranting, we're gonna go to the next picture. You know what I'm talking about. We got another shrine, maybe another divine beast. I mean, it's a pretty large box for it to be a divine beast. So I'm gonna say this is a shrine. We got a bunch of like fire and stuff on the side. It's pretty cool. Next one we got is what I was talking about before the land with G Ganon Dwarf. We got, we got our boy Ganon Dwarf on the top here. Um, I spent six dollars on this Ganon Dwarf, um, but uh, he's looking pretty cool. I don't know if this is like Corona Mountain we got here or or what this is. I don't. I don't know, dude. All right, next one we got. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like the. I know there's a one look like with the Rito children, and you're like, hey, let's all be friends together and sing the song. And I don't know what this is. This, is. this why does this feel like it's from a different game? Maybe I don't know, dude. All right, next one we got. I thought this was a guardian first, but it's obviously a freaking temple. T temple. Oh my god, it's a shrine. Jeez, man, get get. The temples are like wombo sized. We got another shrine here. It's got some writing on the top on the one thing, but the other one looks a little different. You got the ramp up and the little cheek of slate thing where you slap your sleeve shade down. And then you got the little hinges that open and it all spook alike. Not a bad design. This one we got like towers. I mean, that one tower on the right is freaking large AF, my boy. Um, so that's kind of cool. Obviously, it looks very similar to what we have. But could we get something like that tall one with no, like also the one on the left is just like a giant platform. So maybe right, next one we got here is some like some link like chain shape shifter crut like he's got like a hammer on the one and he's like shooting a bomb at his hand and he's got I mean he's got the hook shot on the one here then he has that one beetle that like completely mercs people in Smash Bros and then he's got the bow that that's pretty nice pretty nice and he's got like all like a broken match sword on the other one looking kind of badass not gonna lie but this is a pretty good picture all right here we got another shrine thing i'm not sure what if this was to be anything in particular but we do have the doors in the front multiple iterations of the of this design but it didn't really go to some it looks kind of similar on some of them like this is the bottom middle one um but it looks pretty good you get the sheik attack all over it all right then this one we got just some more village crud i'm not really sure too much what it is just a forest it could have been any of the villages maybe but i mean i don't I'm, i don't know man don't question it, gosh dang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. Tell me what you think Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be. Is it going to be extra spicy? Is it going to be a little bit like the first game? Are we going to have floating island memes? And is the bike of... I mean, I guess that was a DLC, but is the bike going to come back? I don't know. I think it might come back. I didn't really get to use it because I got it at the end of the game. So, I mean, but I'll probably just go around and use it right now, actually. Let's actually just go do that real quick. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a nice day. Until next time. Peace. There's how you get them, you play each of these. So that, that's pretty nice, pretty much. We got the medium weights, heavy weights. My boy Waluigi's in there doing that dank ass pose. And then we got the DLC characters. We got Villager, Isabel, Kirby, Link. Uh, Young Link and Toon Link, yeah, I think. Oh, right, because regular Link was in the thing. Okay, I don't think. Young Link and Toon Link. I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't know if they do three iterations of Link when they have 